Although dental problems don't command the instant fears associated with low birth weight, fetal death, or cholera, they do have the consequences of wearing down the stamina of children and defeating their ambitions. Bleeding gums, impacted teeth, and rotting teeth are routine matters for children I have interviewed. Children get used to feeling constant pain. They go to sleep with it. They go to school with it. The gradual attrition of accepted pain erodes their energy and aspirations. So what does BOP really mean for families? Well, there are a lot of things that families get from the BOP program, but one is the tools to prepare as parents in terms of dental care for their children. There are a lot of mixed messages out there for parents and they don't know when they're supposed to take their children to the dentist. This alleviates that and it allows parents at a very early stage to receive those tools to ensure their children are getting regular visits. And we know that parents influence their children's behavior. And so when I was a child, my mom was extremely diligent about ensuring that all of us had our visits to the dentist regularly. And that as an adult has made it incredibly important for me to make sure my children get their visits. So this program is a way for us to ensure that parents get those important messages and their children can be healthy. So our program is basically um, the baby oral health that we have within the WIC program. And what we did was we uh, instituted bringing in the dental care for all of our WIC participants as a way of ensuring children are not falling through the cracks. Um, ideally, all of our participants get to participate in the program. Um, but at the end of the day, we know that this policy has a very positive effect on the children that are coming in. Well, the reality is that since we started this program, we have screened nearly 700 children through the Baby Oral Health Program. And what's amazing about that is that these children would have potentially never received this information had they not had this opportunity. Um, the idea is that we have children coming in and parents who need this information for positive growth and healthy teeth and we are making an impact because we see these healthy children. So we know this program is working because not only do we track the patients when they come in the first time, we also track them when they reoccur with a BOP2 or a BOP3 or a BOP4 code in the computer. We also have quarterly meetings amongst each other, um, the WIC department and the dental department, so that we can discuss and make sure that there are no problems or hiccups in our system or our policy. So we know that the program is working because we're, we've been able to, you know, obviously track how many children come in. Like I said, we've had 700 children get screened, but we also have the follow-up visits, which remi reminds us that people are really taking to heart the idea of regular dental care for their children. Um, and that's what's made the difference, is that continual um, adherence to getting dental care. The Baby Oral Health Program is an innovative way for parents to learn good, meaningful habits um, that will teach their child about nutrition um, as well as keeping their mouth clean and cavity free. It is a think outside of the box program that really helps the parent to um, not necessarily stick with the myths that he or she may have learned over time but they can really look at the program, use the educational materials, and apply it um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis between the parent and the baby. Dental and WIC collaborate to make the BOP program a success by communication. We have a dedicated dental assistant that spends two days a week in our WIC department working with moms and babies and recruiting them and informing them about baby's oral health. We give them the opportunity to have an exam with their baby and see a dentist while they're at their WIC appointment so they're able to have everything done in one stop and not have to return multiple times. I got you Real quick, Mary. Oh, yeah. Look at these. Oh, good job. Good job. Good 
Well, we make sure that WIC families take advantage of these services by including it in our day-to-day -day nutritional um, counseling. So as a normal part of our nutrition counseling, we will ask the families if they have a family dentist, if the children have been seen, and then we're also lucky enough to work with our dental department and um, they come several times a week and they directly talk to our clients about the services that they offer and offer free BOP exams. I think that the patients really appreciate having these services available because they focus on preventative dental care starting at a very early age. I think for our clients, a lot of times there's barriers for them, whether it's financial, transportation, and just to be able to have that opportunity to have that service available while you're taking care of your, your, your WIC appointment is very helpful. Long term, I would say that just being able to educate the parents on proper old hygiene for their children, that this would be something that they would be able to implement at home and continue long after they've left the WIC program. The ideal public policy makes sure that people start out life in a healthy way. Working with WIC and BOP is just the ideal solution for that as it allows moms and kids to make sure that we create healthy starts to lives with oral health in a way that combines with the decades of success that WIC has had in the nutritional area. So the question is really why does this program work? And there's a lot of reasons. One is that um, during the planning process, I spent a lot of time researching what best practices were for a program like BOP. Um, the other uh, area was that Katrina and I met and really wanted a systems approach. We wanted something that wasn't just a fly-by-night project, but something that was truly a change in policy for our agency and for our families that come to the WIC program. We can dental, we're one big happy family.